All right, I'm going to give a quick demo of the interface of the iAqua Aquarium controller. First thing I'll do is turn it on and let it power up. Notice that when it comes up, it's going to turn on all those power relays to the way that they're supposed to be according to the schedule. And it also turns the lights to where they're supposed to be according to the schedule. And uh, this is uh, how many hours it's been since I last hit the feeding button. The, um, I was just messing with it, so it's at zero hours right now. Um, across the top we have date and time. And here, of course, is temperature and lighting mode. These are the dosing pumps. Both of them both have uh, currently have six doses in them. Um, down across the bottom is the little dock. The home button will just force the home screen to redraw. Um, the feeding button, when you hit this, it'll turn off all the power relays other than the lights, or actually technically you can configure what you want on or off. Um, so if I hit this now, it goes into a feeding routine. Right now it's set to feed for, it's going to feed for 12 minutes based on the, uh, how I have it set up. And then I can hit stop, which will stop this and turn all the relays back on that were on before. Um, I can also hit the little recycle button, which will extend the timer back out to 12 minutes. Um, so I'm going to hit this down at the bottom is a little home icon. I can hit that and it brings me back to the home screen. If you don't stop and you come to the home screen, it shows me that I have under 12 minutes remaining. Um, in fact, I'll just let that run so we can watch it come down. The power grid, um, I can hit these buttons and turn any relay on or off instantaneously. Um, and I also have a master so I can hit all off and it'll just power off everything. Um, all on will power them back on. I'm just going to put it back into its feeding mode. I'm going to hit the home button. And the next thing we're going to look at is settings. There's a lot of things in here. Um, so these are all the different settings that we have. Um, they're like little app icons. And if I click on lights, it'll go to the current lighting mode. And then down here, it'll show me the RGB values, which I'm using a, uh, a fresh little Arduino Mega right now, so it doesn't have all my settings in there. Um, but if I was going to set one, I would hit Edit. Um, and then we have the red, green, blue, and white channels that we can turn up and down. So if I turn red up, it's up to 3, 4, 5. And every time I hit up, um, it's sending out infrared to control the light and send the light, send the red channel up. So you can sit here and adjust it until you like your light and then you hit save and it'll go through and resync the lights. And this is the slowest screen to draw because all these buttons down here. Um, but it's alright, I'm not in here too often. Um, if I want to then I can go across and I can hit the next lighting mode or I can go adjust my moon lights. Um, and then when I'm done, I can just hit the settings icon. It brings us back to the settings screen. Um, the next one over is the clock. You can see it's 337. And if I hit the clock button, it automatically pushes us ahead one minute. Um, I found that this clock chip tends to drift slightly behind. Um, so if it starts getting a little behind, this is just a nice way I can go in and hit set. But um, this is nice. I don't have to change the clock via plugging in a USB cable and um, uploading some code to it. The next thing over is the feeding configuration. So this will say how long I want to feed the fish for. Power setup. Um, these are the power out. This is what I want the power to look like when I hit the feeding button. So I just have the lights on. Um, if I had something else on, um, you know, auxiliary one that I wanted to leave on, I could just tap that and leave it on. Um, I like to turn off my CO2, but you could, you know, you could leave that on. Um, I have an external heater, so I like having that off. Um, so that is how you configure the feedings. Um, the schedule, I'm going to skip over just for a minute because that'll take a little more time to go through. Um, this is our heat setup. 
Um, so what this will do is it'll force the heater to turn off at a high temperature so I can set this to whatever I want. It's a, I can use it as a heating controller or as an emergency shutoff, either one. Um, and if it goes over that temperature, in fact I'm going to turn this down and set it to 73 and set this to 70. Um, what this will do, the next one down, this will turn the heater back on when the temperature falls down to that temp. Um, so the last one is a low warning. Um, this was this would go off if your heater broke and stopped heating your tank. So I could set this at like you know 69 or something, and if it ever goes down to that temperature, it'll um, have a little audible beep. So I'm going to go back to the settings screen. Um, the next thing is dosing pump setup. So this one is kind of interesting. What you basically do is you, this will let you calibrate your pumps and set how many uh, doses you have and everything else. So for right now I have it set I dose 10 milliliters at a time. Um, a full container is 60 milliliters for me um, and it tells me right here that's going to give me six doses. Um, if I turn this up to you know 70 or 80 milliliters you can see my doses go up to 8, 9 this here will let me fill it so as I top off my containers I hit fill it highlights the full in red so now I know that I've topped the containers back off and that'll reset those um, little containers on the home screen so the next thing is the dosing pumps so this says um, this is how long the pump has to run to pump one milliliter of water um, both of the motors that I have, which are these little uh, dosing pumps that look like this, um, they typically pump one milliliter um, every 790 milliseconds. Um, if they aren't that, you can, uh, you can adjust this up or down and hit the test button so you can go up in 10 millisecond increments or down. Um, and if you hit test, um, it'll pump uh, what it assumes should be 10 milliliters of water at that rate uh, or of, of uh, so you can calibrate your pump by doing that. So if it pumps out 11 milliliters and you have to slow it down a little bit and test it again um, but it lets you dial in your pumps without having to mess with code. Go back to settings and then the last uh, setting in here is the screen. Um, I have a little timer that says return to the home screen after two minutes so if I walk away and I, you know, just leave it on a screen or whatever, it'll drop back onto the home screen all the time. Um, if I turn it to zero, then it won't ever go back to the home screen. It just turns it off. This is auto dimming. I have it turned off right now uh, for the for the demo. Um, zero is off. If I set it to three, um, what it'll do is it'll it'll dim down to kind of my that's like an average level. But if you want it brighter, um, you can adjust it up or down. Um, for how much you want it to dim. Auto dim seconds, uh, this is how many seconds you want it to wait uh, before it starts dimming the screen on you. If you don't want to do auto dimming, um, you can just turn the auto dim to zero and then you can come back down here to bright and this uh, will actually set the brightness of the backlight. Um, so then it's just always the same brightness. So schedule. If we come in here, we've got power, dosing, and lighting schedules. The power schedule uh, is set up right here. Um, each line is a power output. Um, currently, I only have lights and CO2 scheduled, um, but I can schedule uh, anything except for the filter, because the filter you would never schedule to turn off. Um, so I didn't bother with that one. So if I want to edit my lights, um, I can just for the first light, and I have set what time I want it to turn on which is at 6 a.m. and I turn it off at 1 a.m. I don't run them bright the whole time. That's half the reason I built this is I, I run them very dim um, the rest of the time and I only run my uh, the bright period during the day and you'll see that. If I don't want it to turn them on and off I can just turn off the activate button and it'll uh, not run that schedule. So you can see one, two, three of them there are turned off. The dosing schedule um, this is uh, set up to be pretty flexible so it doesn't necessarily have to be EI dosing. You basically are just picking what days of the weeks you want it to run down here. Um, I run macros on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I have, the, have them run at 6 a.m. Um, I like to run them so they get nice and mixed up before the lights come on. 
and then here I can tap micros and then the micros I have set up for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Go back to the home screen and then this is the light ramp schedule and so on the left you can see what modes I just let it go through four modes so it starts I have basically defined moonlight um, low sun mid sun and high sun and so this first one is going to transition after the light turns on and it tells me here the light turns on at 559 turns off at 1 a.m. Um, so I can click on this and then I can say start my ramp at 6 a.m. and it's going to go from moonlight to low sun and then I'm going to have it run over a period of one hour. And the only catch in this screen is, it, or in setting these up, is you don't want to ever overlap them. You don't want one to end the same minute one the next one starts. Um, so if they're close, uh, you'll see down here I end these at, I run them for 59 minutes to make sure they end before the next one starts. Um, so that's basically how they all work, and it'll just go through this uh, throughout the day and ramp my lights up and down. And back to the home screen. So the auto dimming, uh, I have it set pretty quick right now after 10 seconds. There you see it auto dim down. And I have it set to uh, the middle level right now. And I'll just show you. I'm going to hit it with a flashlight so you'll see if it gets brighter. As it senses more light, um, it'll brighten the screen up automatically for you. And that keeps the screen from being annoyingly bright um, during a uh, during the evening 